who that to the who that nation and welcome to the dome patrol podcast your podcast for d new orleans saints here on the kb radio network i am your host kevin reeds and we have arrived at week 16 of the nfl season first game of this nfl weekend and the new orleans saints will travel to los angeles to take on the rams in a must win game uh the saints are currently seven and seven on the season as well as the rams uh this game has a lot of playoff implications going forward this is a huge game almost as if it's a playoff game in his own right a lot is on the line in this game you know after what was an undoubtedly the best performance last weekend against the new york giants uh, the New Orleans Saints are set to head to the City of Angels on a short week as the Saints take the field against the Rams on Thursday night football. They will be fighting for their playoff lives. However, a win in Los Angeles will go a long way for head coach Dennis Allen and quarterback Derek Carr as they seek to string together three straight wins and perhaps change the perception of the team in the who that nation it won't be easy though um <laughs> even with the potential return of star wide receiver chris olave the rams defense is fast and disruptive led by all world defensive tackle aaron donald and their offense is creative and explosive with quarterback matt stafford playing his best football of the year on top of that, the Rams finally have a running back in Kyron Williams, who has been outstanding when healthy throughout this season. This will be probably the biggest challenge for the New Orleans Saints uh, uh, this season. It, well, definitely uh, for the rest of this season, this is their biggest challenge. And they could either prove a lot with a decisive road victory or crash and burn to earth after <laughs> stringing together a pair of wins. Consistency has been the Saints' biggest bugaboo all season long and is the one hurdle uh, head coach Dennis Allen has not been able to clear since he took over the position after the departure of uh, uh, Sean Payton, of course. Now, going into this game, we know the Rams' offense is every bit as impactful and unpredictable as it has been since Sean McVay, their head coach, has took over over there. Uh, however, it is still vastly different from the offense the Saints handled in New Orleans on their way to a 27-20 victory last year when we played the Rams. Uh, with a lot more man-gap run concepts, a good running back leading the way in uh, Kyron Williams and Matthew Stafford playing the best ball he's played since their epic Super Bowl run a couple of years ago. The offense will give the Saints defense a, a few issues in this game this Thursday night. The Saints and the Rams have played 76 times in the regular season with the Rams holding a 42 to 34 edge while the club uh, they split on um playoff contests we all know about the nola no call and all that man. there's no point going down that road but our very first playoff victory were against the rams and let's not forget that this is a team that the who that nation is very familiar with because we used to be division foes when the new orleans saints were were in the nfc west uh a while back but the Saints have played only the Atlanta Falcons and the San Francisco 49ers more often than they've played the Rams. The Ram, uh, Atlanta, we've played 108 times. The uh, 49ers, we've played 78 times. So uh, the, Ram is, the Rams are our next, I guess you could say, biggest rival in the NFL. In the 76 regular meetings of the series between the Saints and the Rams, there have been 1,588 points scored by the Saints and 1,732 allowed 
the longest win streak in this rivalry has been a seven game win streak by the saints from the year 1990 to 93 41 of the 76 games were decided by double digits 10 games decided by 21 or more 34 games decided by eight points or less one was a 31 point win by the saints and one was a 31 point loss by the saints <laughs> so they they split 31 point beat downs between the two clubs we all know about the last meeting which was last year where the saints won 27 to 20 in the superdome um the saints in that game used a two quarterback system where you had Andy Dalton and Taysom Hill uh, to wake up the offense, so to speak. And they scored more points since a 21 to zero win over the uh, Raiders just three weeks prior to this, this when Derek Carr was the quarterback of the Raiders, just throwing that out there. But in the Rams game last year, Andy Dalton threw three touchdown passes, including a 53 yarder to Dan rookie, Chris Olave and finished a very efficient 21 of 25 for 260 yards in that game. Uh, Taysom Hill carried the ball nine times for 52 yards and was one of three passing for 14 yards. Running back Alvin Kamara had a solid game as well. He carried the ball 12 times for 42 yards and catching four passes for 47 yards. He passed 9,000 career yards from scrimmage in that game. This was a monumental game because this was the 400th regular season win in franchise history back on November the 20th, 2022. Team leaders statistically for the New Orleans Saints this season, uh, passing Derek Carr, he has 3,098 yards passing this year with 16 touchdowns. He has a QBR of 51.7. Our rushing leader is Alvin Kamara with 630 yards on 161 carries. He has five touchdowns this year. Our leading receiver is, of course, Chris Olave, 72 catches for 918 yards and four touchdowns. On defense, Demario Davis is our leading tackler with 102 tackles, which includes 6.5 sacks this season thus far. Our sack leader, on the other hand, is Carl Grandison with 7.5 sacks this season. He also has 65 tackles. Uh, interception leader on his team is Paulson Adebo with four interceptions this season. He also has 55 tackles and 15 pass defenses. Lead rankings, both teams are 7-7. Seven and seven. Uh, Scoring average, Saints 22.1. They are tied for 12th in the lead. The Rams are 9th in the lead with 23.4. Opponent scoring average, Saints ranked 6th in the lead with 19.1. Rams 19th in the lead, 21 or 22.1, should I say. Total offense, Saints are ranked 14th in total offense, averaging 334.5 per game. Rams ninth in the lead in total offense, 357.2. Rushing offense, Saints are 19th, averaging 103.2 yards a game. Rams 11th in the lead, 121.3. Passing offense, Saints are 16th in the lead, 231.3 to the Rams, 11th, 235.9. Total defense, Saints are 11th in the lead, 311.9 per game average, whereas the Rams total defense is ranked 18th, 336.9. Rushing defense, Saints are ranked 25th in the lead. I thought it would be lower, to be honest with you. <laughs> they average, uh, allowing 126.4 per game. The Rams are ranked 14th. Uh, average uh, yards given up are 110.8. Passing defense, Saints are ranked 6th in the league. 
only allowing 185.4 yards a game to the Rams' 21st-ranked passing defense, giving up 226.1 per game. Penalties, Saints have 85 penalties so far this season with 780 yards of penalty to the Rams, 81 penalties, uh, uh, giving up 659 yards in penalties. Moving on to our injury report for this short week of practice and preparation. Uh, We have a few players that are out for this game who have been ruled out for this game, and we have a couple who are returning. Um, Let's start with the players who have officially been ruled out for Thursday night game against the Rams. Uh, Defensive end, Isaac Forskeef, uh, quadricep, he has been ruled out. Lenny Johnson Jr., safety, uh, knee injury, ruled out. Offensive tackle, Ryan Ramchek, knee injury, he has been ruled out. And for some reason, they put defensive end Peyton Turner on the injury report this week. He has been ruled out. <laughs> but they, they had to put him on the injury report because he did have limited practice. So uh, there's that. But in any event, those are your players who are ruled out. Running back Kendrick Miller, ankle injury, he was limited. And he has been ruled questionable returning this week and is activated for Thursday night's matchup is Chris Olave. He was a full participant on Wednesday and he will play this week. Uh, I guess the big question is, will that offense flow like it did against the Giants uh, without Chris Olave in the lineup? Can we still have that same process i guess you could say or or same energy from this offense with chris olave you know will you will you see Derek carr trying to force him to ball or anything what which i don't think he does so i don't know i well whatever but i want to see can this offense continue keep up what they started this past sunday with our star receiver in the lineup that's going to be the big question for the uh Los Angeles Rams, they only have one player ruled out, and that is defensive back Trey Tomlinson with a hamstring. He has been ruled out. Offensive lineman Joe Noteboom, he had he is questionable for this uh, Thursday night matchup, and that is it for the injury report. Everybody else is fairly healthy, which, which stinks. Well, good for them, but <laughs> it stinks. This matchup is hard to gauge. To be honest with you, I I know what Vegas is saying and I know what a lot of people will be, you know, a lot of people probably going to be riding on the Rams. You know, they're at home. Um, They're playing, you know, they're playing slightly better than the Saints, but not not too much. Actually, they look the same. They just been playing that way longer. I guess you can say Saints just started to click last uh, a couple of days ago. So <laughs> there is a there is a difference there. And I get it. I get it. I think the uh I think this balls down to whether or not the Saints offense can generate points. The defense can at least negate the Rams attack, but they are going to have their hands full um <laughs> with their with their running back. I, I watched him in a couple of highlights, I haven't watched a lot of Rams games this season, but I did see a a, a few clips of uh, Kyron Williams, and he 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 is going to be a handful. Williams cannot be the one to beat you this Thursday night, and Los Angeles is going to lean on him a lot. So getting this run game under control is paramount. This is key, and this is something that the Saints defense has been struggling with all season long, stopping the run. And if we can't get the run under control, it's going to be a long night because Matthew Stafford is going to sit back and pretty much torture us with <laughs> with Cooper Cup and that other guy. I can't think of his name. Um, oh man, it's a Samoan name, but he, he they are tearing teams apart. So we definitely got to neutralize Kyron Williams and. Uh, force Matthew Stafford to beat you, which is uh, crazy to say, but 
it, this is the test. <laughs> this will be the test. Uh, this is a proving ground for the Saints. I think they are ready for the challenge. Um, just going off of what I saw Sunday, you know, there was, there's hope there that maybe they got it turned around. And I'm, I'm uh, you know, they got the same, uh, the Rams favored in this game. And I think I'm going to go with the upset. I think uh, I think the Saints can come out victorious in this game. Uh, will they? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. But I, I think they can beat this team. But it's going to be a dog fight. If, if the Saints come with their A game, with their A game, they can beat this team. But we cannot stumble out the gates. We cannot uh squander opening drive punt three and out you know like we did last week we can't do things like that we can't spot a team 21 points we cannot start off slow we have to go into this game as if this is it there is no tomorrow in the famous words of apollo creed there is no tomorrow (laughs) there is no tomorrow this is a must you have to win this game or it's all for nothing it, it's all for nothing. After that, you got to hope and wish and pray for other teams to help you out, which is, it's a possibility. I mean, uh, the Buccaneers, they have to face the, uh, Jacksonville, Jacksonville Jaguars this week. And so that's a possible loss. Jacksonville's playing pretty well, but why would I have to sit here and cheer for another team to beat another team? If we can handle business on our own, uh, Atlanta, uh, who did Atlanta play? I don't know who Atlanta plays. It don't matter. Um, <laughs> Atlanta lost to Carolina. I got nothing. I got no faith in it. But uh, I, <sighs> Saints need to handle their business. To be honest with you, I, I'm, I don't want to pick them. I, I really don't want to pick them. Um, this, this is going to be a tough game. It, if the Saints were playing or firing on all cylinders all year long, this would still be a tough matchup. There's something about this team. We we just match up <laughs> against them, you know, uh, with the exception of a few games in the past. Um, more recently, it, it's been dogfights with the Rams. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But those are my keys to victory. I, I We have to get the run game under control. We have to stop this, man. Stop the bleeding. You know, uh, last week, yeah, that was probably our best game against the run. You want to know why? Because they didn't run the ball. Giants did not run the ball. They <laughs> they had they had the ultimate weapon back there and only gave Saquon Barkley the ball nine times. Yeah, of course, they they were supposed to lose, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm glad they did it, but that's stupid. You know, you have one of the best running backs in the league and you only give them the ball nine times. Well, it is what it is. Will the Rams be that dumb? I doubt it. Um, <laughs> I seriously doubt it. They 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 watch film. They know that the Saints are susceptible to the run. And so, uh, <sighs> this is going to be a test. This is a huge test for the who that. Uh, we shall see. Um, so once again, this Thursday night on Prime Video, the New Orleans Saints, who are seven and seven will travel to the city of angels to play the Los Angeles Rams who are also seven and seven and right there on the cusp of a playoff berth of their own Seven fifteen, Can't wait for this. This is going to be probably the biggest game of the year for the saints. Uh, I, I'm, 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 <laughs> I, I'm, I'm putting, I'm, this is it. I'm putting them all in. See, I, they keep, they keep, sucking me back in man i had given up on this team and they keep sucking me back in with hope and optimism i just ah oh, man i hate i hate being a saints fan sometimes <laughs> i really do you know you ah why do i love this team so much? <laughs> because i want them to win and i'm gonna get mad i'm because this is it it don't get no bigger than this because it I mean, just picture it, people. Picture it. Saint, let's just say Saints come out victorious Thursday night. All right. Who you have left? Tampa and Atlanta. Those are your two final games. Two big games in the division. 
you could lock things up probably with the uh Tampa game. If going off theories that Tampa is gonna fall to Jacksonville. Uh you could probably wrap it up there. You know? I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. In Atlanta, I mean, come on, man. They got us the first time. Yes, they did. They got us. But I, I don't think I don't I don't think that'll happen again. You know, if we could get past the Rams, I, I don't see Tampa or Atlanta beating. You know, just going off of that logic. But it's up to the Saints. It's really up to Dennis Allen. Can he get these guys up to play like he did last Sunday? I'm telling you, last Sunday, I haven't seen this team this inspired with Dennis Allen being the head coach ever. I haven't. This is the first time. First time. And so, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see, I'm anxious to see, I'm excited because, uh, as I said before, if the saints can come out victorious, the sky's the limit. And so here's all prayers. That's all I want for Christmas <laughs> prayers up, but this is my Christmas wrist. I wish I want the saints to win <laughs> this Thursday night. I don't, I ain't, I don't ask for much people. I don't act. I'm not a, I'm not a uh, needy person here. I just need little things. It's the little things that please me. And this is little to me. Um, I want the saints to win. I need the saints to win. And hopefully the saints will win this Thursday prime video in LA. Can't wait for this matchup as always after every saints game, even though this is going to be late, <laughs> it's going to be a late night. Uh, I will come back and recap, hopefully, preferably, a Saints victory after the game goes final. So be on the lookout for that. Until then, all night long, I'm going to be screaming from the top of my lungs. Who that? <laughs>